welcome to India New England News. Our guests today are Harsita and Vishal Sood. Gourmet in India. Most of us are very familiar with their restaurant and class A or world class catering for the Indian events and corporate events. They are going to cater this year food for the annual New England Choice Awards Gala on Sunday. And we are going to talk to them overall how they do such a fantastic job and what they are going to do at New England Choice Awards Gala. Also lately they have added a sit-in restaurant called Tashan. And both of them are also involved with that restaurant as well. So we'll touch base on that as well. Vishal, welcome to our studio. Thank you. Arshita, welcome. Thank you, sir. And uh, so we are very excited to have you guys this year cater food for the New England Choice Awards Gala. Thank you. I know several years ago you had done for the winner of the year and that Correct. was a total blast. So we are all so excited that you guys are back. Thank you. And uh, so let's first start with uh, what you think about what your plans are for the new job. So we want to, when it comes to catering, we want we kind of look at catering as um, three kind of major important, um, almost like tripod, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And when it comes to that, we want to, you know, exceed clients' expectations. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we are professional as we always are with all of our clients uh, to exceed their expectations, but also, you know, be attentive to detail. Mm -hmm. Right. So whether it be garnishing on the food, uh, temperature of the food, then you look at it even further and we want to provide freshness. Right. So the quality of food, consistency of food, um, that is what makes Gourmandia stand out. And we have noticed that because, you know, there, we always see complete consistency. Thank you. There is no uh, variation, you know, because sometimes we when just you see, oh, sometimes the food is great and sometimes it is not that great. Correct. But with the gourmet India, we know that it is consistent. It's going to be there. Well, our so. catering team, Upendra, it's been they've been with me now for over twenty years. Um, my executive chef has been cooking with us for that many years. My catering team members have been with me. My major important catering team members have been with me for that long. So you know, they've developed that nature of the business where they know what people want and what their expectations mm. are. So now since he mentioned tripod, so I'm going to catch on his theme. So the Gourmet India was started by his father, uh, Yogi Sood, and his mom. 95. Yes. Yeah. 95. And then um, Vishal has been working with that team for a very long time. Since Correct, he, since 2003. Since up. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And now you are the third uh, <laughs> uh, pillar of this, you have been added there. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your role in Gourmet India and what other Gourmet India does. So uh, basically for Gourmet India, like he said, he's more into catering. But I look uh, look into the front portion of it. I look into some of the business development aspect of it. And uh, obviously, you know, clients needs, what exactly the clients, the client want from us. Uh, when it comes to catering and the, uh, developing a menu and everything, obviously, I, he's the front mm -hmm, sure. person for it. But mm -hmm. we, we sit as a team, we discuss what the client needs, what's their expectation, and develop a proper menu for them and explain that to the uh, clients as to based on what kind of event they're having. Mm -hmm. If they're having a Sangeet, if they're having a corporate event or what kind of. So the menu is developed based on their needs. Mm. And so now event. talking about the corporate events also, I think uh, uh, the Gourmet India provides the food to a lot of big corporations, right? In they the do. Country. Yes, we do. Um, you know, we've made partnerships over the years to do that. Um, but, you know, that's not a major part of the business. But, okay. I would say the catering and, um, you know, on-premise business. On-premise business. On -premise business is still very strong mm -hmm. now that People are coming back after COVID and uh, people are still coming to the mall, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, Burlington Mall. Right? Burlington yeah, Mall, sure, correct. Yeah. Where you have that. Your That's correct. Where we have our, mm -hmm. our location. I go there all the time. So Thank you. I'm in Burlington Mall. I have <laughs> at Gourmet India. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. So, um, you know, I think the on-premise business between that and then people having their 
uh, whether it be small events, large events, um, people will. So, what is the maximum number of people you have gathered? Like, for example, we actually just did that in convention. Yeah, we've yeah. we've done an event for up to three thousand. Three thousand, yes. So, yeah. how do you manage for three thousand people? You know? It's That's the same quality, the consistency. Like I said, experience, so mm, experience. Yeah. It's managing all the the details of the event, um, operations part of it. Um, you know, I'm a big operations guy. Mm. She's a big detail oriented mm -hmm. person. So um, between that and with, you know, dad kind mm -hmm. of helping us and consulting with us, mm -hmm. um, you know, he's not so much in the business anymore, yeah, yeah. but uh, his expertise over the years has, you know, uh, elevated our sure, business. Yeah, yeah. So so now talking about your dad, I have been also talking with him for a long time. Sure, so I've sure. Yes, 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 yeah. known him and always he had a dream to open a very nice you know, sit down restaurant with Correct. the different ambience and all those things. Right. And I think finally you had you guys had a chance to open Cushion in, That's in, in, in Bedford during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. And you were also playing an important role in setting up yes. and decor. So if you both of you can talk about Cushion as well. Sure. So Cushion was, as you had mentioned, a dream of my father's um, as well as ours. Mm -hmm. We wanted to uh, bring a different aspect to Indian cuisine. There are many great restaurants out there in the Boston area. We just wanted to, and our culture for that restaurant is to have a complete dining experience. Mm -hmm. So with Tushin, we want any guest that comes in, we want to make sure we provide high quality customer service. Um, food. Once again, attention to detail, mm -hmm. high quality food with a little bit of a twist, right? I'm not going to say it's fusion. Mm -hmm. um, but then you also look at the ambiance, mm -hmm. right? Which Harshta. Uh, took great care of um, in the sense of we have two beautiful murals, uh, the flooring, the the wall wall mm -hmm. uh, coloring. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was every single thing that makes you want to dine at that restaurant. Even the music, for example, we have more loungy music. We mm -hmm. do not have typical Indian right, sure, type sure, or yeah. Indian music. Mm -hmm. We have because that's the feel we want people to have. Mm -hmm. That it's like a modern Indian restaurant. Mm -hmm. So so now you have. Uh, marketing and PR background. So, in originally, I was trained this how as well, mm -hmm. you know, in the marketing PR. So, my question to you is, you know, that you uh, played a very important role in decor and the conceptualization of interior mm -hmm. of uh, fashion. Uh, when you were thinking, what was going in your mind? What was going through in your mind? So, honestly, when this is the first project mm -hmm. I've done, and mm -hmm. while I was doing this, I did a lot of research, went on online, saw different co co concepts, different uh, restaurants, and you know, I had so many different ideas, mm -hmm. and I did not know if I, I picked one idea from the like the lighting from one side, uh, you know, uh, wallpaper from somewhere else, flooring from somewhere, the furniture from somewhere, and I had no idea how it will look together. Mm -hmm. It was just like I knew, for example, I knew I, do, I don't want a plain black or a plain white ceiling. Mm -hmm. But to get those styles, it was imported from India. Mm -hmm. And then uh, while we were doing this project, it was so funny and it was out of stock. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. And I called up the country. And this was all during the COVID time? During COVID. We opened <coughs> in October 2021. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been two years. It's mm -hmm. just been two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, during that time, it was so difficult to get things around too. Mm -hmm. The shipping and everything, but it it happened. Yes. So what I think, we, what I think we were fortunate enough to have some great mentors um, mm -hmm. that were able to help us in that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, through the planning process, mm -hmm. um, whether it be decor, operations, kitchen planning, um, you know, the whole planning team, in a sense, uh, did a great job. So Harsita, what is your favorite at Tashin? My favorite the cocktails. Cocktails. Yeah. They are really, really nice. Like we have a cocktail called Mango Mirchi, which is the most popular. One Dundari Madira, it comes in a smoke box, which is basically at our, our innovation of an old fashioned. Mango Mirchi is like with mango chutney and, uh, and uh, Tito's vodka. And so let's come back. We're talking about the cocktails. Correct. Your yeah. favorite cocktails. Yeah. So these are the two most popular ones. And then um, I think a few items which are very unique and different let's say appetizers we have something called arm palak chart mm. which a lot of guests like uh, lasuni prawns mm. which is very very popular we have barak kebab which is lamb mm -hmm. marination with uh, tandoori marinated with tandoori masala that's very popular then uh coming to the mains we have our 
original tari wala mutton which is on bones go to bones and one item which i forgot to mention is i, I don't think we get it and a lot of places is kaloti kebab mm-hmm. which is goat meat bone mm-hmm. is goat meat mm-hmm. and it's so soft it will literally melt in your mouth and what about somebody vegetarian like me so there's goat cheese kofta which is very very popular with a lot of people think that it's like goat cheese it's it is vegetarian mm-hmm. which is sure, sure. goat cheese potatoes we mix a little bit of paneer and then a cream sauce mm-hmm. so that is very very popular and then we have a couple of other items like reshmi paneer mm-hmm. maska paneer so what is reshmi paneer like reshmi paneer is actually cubes of paneer mm-hmm. with bell pepper and onions okay. it's a more dry item okay. it's different okay. because some people don't some people like that with lentils mm-hmm. with naan you mm-hmm. know something like that if you want to order very yeah, so, healthy so the menu creation behind session uh, is um we want to keep on rotating the menu mm-hmm. right we don't want to just keep a fixed menu and that's what you're going to find mm-hmm. yes we do keep uh, menu items that are popular popular however we this is the fourth or fifth iteration of mm-hmm. the menu since we started and we just want to continue uh, so in two, two, two years, years in two years we've changed the menu around right. four or five mm-hmm. times where we just want to keep on having a freshness to it mm-hmm. right so people don't get bored of the same menu items so misal what is your favorite at fashion my favorite would i would have to say the biryanis mm-hmm. are excellent uh and because uh i'm a man of desserts okay okay um i love that was going to my question about <laughs> nika like what you are having for dessert with the nika desserts and uh, nika will have uh you know we'll have some Oh, you want to keep it surprise? I, I would prefer to keep it a surprise. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember, you know, from the for the woman of the year, you did catering. My God, the dessert was just absolutely super. I think we at that time you had ordered something from India. We that, did. We yeah. did. at uh, the woman of the year many many years ago. We did bring some. Yeah, I would have to find you. Yeah, but yeah. we'll 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 make sure we have something special for you. Oh, okay, excellent. That sounds very good. Now, uh, <clears throat> again, I just want to stay. a uh, little bit with uh, Russian because you sure. know it's uh, something new concept and i have noticed that most of us who when we go to the restaurant you know the experience is very important for for me which i'm taking my family and out go there correct you know how i'm how i'm received how i'm treated how um i you know everything is served and style you know so they sure feel like 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 comfortable Who you providing that type of service? What do you think is the number one thing in the customer service when it comes to the restaurant? I feel it's two things. Mm-hmm. One, um, you know, anticipation, mm-hmm. right? And that's what we, tr- you know, teach our front of the house staff mm-hmm. is try to anticipate the customer's needs, mm-hmm. right? So if you think they need an extra spoon, already bring one over, right? Mm-hmm. If you think they're running out of water when it's halfway. fill the water glass. Mm-hmm. If you think they need a refill on their drink, go ask rather than waiting for it to be finished. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. You know, mm-hmm. uh that's one thing and then two, just being overall attentive. Attentive to their needs, mm-hmm. right? You might come into work with a bad, you know, having a bad day before starting your shift. Forget all about that. You were at Tushin. Mm-hmm. We want to provide an elevated dining experience. Mm-hmm. And when I say elevated dining experience, we want to cover all those aspects. whether it be the cocktails as harsh the mention we want to provide great food and great customer service mm-hmm. and that's the three things that we focus on which makes us so also, also uh, i would say our training of the staff mm-hmm. okay at the front because we are the face mm-hmm. of tashin nobody knows the kitchen staff nobody mm-hmm. but our out the grooming of our uh, you know employees in the front mm. the way they are dressed up if somebody is wearing an un- uh, iron shirt i would send him back mm-hmm. if he's wearing uh, if he's not shaved mm-hmm. i would send him back mm-hmm. you know i need the guest to feel good yeah, that sure. somebody who is attending to attending to them needs to be properly glo- groomed mm-hmm. speak properly not to be rude mm-hmm. be uh precise to the guests to mm-hmm. some guests are very regular so mm-hmm. they are very friendly with us and everything but some guests who have come for the first time you know we cannot be over friendly with them so it's mm-hmm. just making sure we we have a pre meal every day and just we make sure to tell all our servers all our wait staff to know and we actually train them yeah, so yeah. uh yeah so yeah. that's i think very very important for the staff to know what exactly they're doing excellent 
Now, Vizal, I will have the same question I'll ask you for the catering business. Sure. What are the, those key pillars of uh, your uh, catering? For the catering business, I would say, um, as I mentioned previously, um, you know, first to get a sense of what their needs are, mm -hmm. right? When someone approaches us, uh, we want to make sure that we get a full grasp of what they're looking for in a menu, mm -hmm. what their different events are. Um, then after you understand that part of it, then you proceed further. Okay, this is what our recommendations are to complete your menu, mm -hmm. right? If somebody is missing this or um, they have too much of a dessert on their menu, then you try to work hand in hand with the client and making sure that the menu is complete. Mm -hmm. um, then going a step further, you know, as I mentioned, we provide the freshest quality of food. My chef has been doing this for many years. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, just following up, mm -hmm. right? Making sure uh, if they have questions for us, we are getting back to them in a timely manner, mm -hmm. making sure that, you know, we um, attend to all their needs throughout the event, mm. right? If there's something last minute they need, sure, we can. We will work with whether it be a hotel or a venue and making sure that we accommodate. And it. you work with most of the hotels. Yes, uh, yes. Too. We work with pretty much all the hotels, all the hotels in, the, yeah. in the area yeah. as well as other venues. Mm -hmm. So um, so you mentioned earlier that, you know, you had a catering for 3,000 people in correct center. So, so that's a... Uh, you have done that with you, very large crowd. Correct. What about the minimum? Like, do you have any minimum threshold that you know you are? I mean, we've done we've done caterings for seven, eight, ten people. Two right? people. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. It, so it's wide open. It's, it's wide open, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think it's just you know we've developed relationships with our clients. It's not just about Gourmandia catering. It's mm -hmm. it's us as a couple. I mean, I have seen you in some of my friends' house. All every time you go there, you know, you have this bakora right. and everything being made fresh there. Correct. You know, which is, uh, Correct. So that's. Uh, I mean, in addition to being a business, it's also a relationship, right? I've, I've sure. had long-lasting relationships with many of my clients mm -hmm. who can call me at any time of the day, and if they need something, we are there. Okay. Now, Arshita, this is our honor to give you the last word sure. about Tashan and as well as, well as the Gourmet India catering. Okay, for, so the last thing I'd like to say is Tushin, again, it's like my baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have, uh, between Vishal and me, mm -hmm. I am there as a face of Tushin. Mm -hmm. I make sure that I am there 24, like as much as possible. Obviously, mm -hmm. with kids, I need to mm -hmm. give them some time as well. So I try to be and I just wanted to grow, grow, grow. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in future, we open another Tushin. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And for Gourmet India, yes, uh, be it our Burlington Mall, be it our catering business or a bulk order too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people get food delivered mm -hmm. and set up in mm -hmm. their residence or the, any venue. So yes, that, that business is here. It is getting here and it will go there. So. Excellent. Arshita, yeah. thank you so thank much you so for much. coming to our thank studio. You so and I saw looking forward to further new interest of our course. Thank you. 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 Thank you.